Welcome to Laminates.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a certificate on a Cisco router and a Cisco ASA firewall manually as well as through a protocol called SCEP or SCEP. Here we already have a Windows 2008 machine set up for a certificate authority server doing both auto enrollment and auto approval. We have a router R1 and a firewall 1 that has LAN connectivity to the server, so we'll be doing SCEP on those devices for the certificate request. But R2 did not have connectivity to the CA server, so we will be instead doing a manual installation of the certificate on that router. So first we're going to start our configuration off on R1. Let me kind of minimize the diagram and put it on the side. Here we're on R1. First you need to make sure that you have the domain name configured, which we do. And let's see if we have a crypto key generated. And we did not have that. So the first thing you need to do is to create a crypto key. The command will be crypto key generate RSA with the modulus of 1024 and the type of key we're just going to use the uh, general type key. Okay, now as the key is configured, another thing that's very important for, for requesting a certificate is you need to make sure the time on your device is synchronized with the certificate server. So the certificate is valid when you try to install it on the device, otherwise the device will reject the certificate. So here we're going to create a PKI trust point and we will call it LM root CA. Since we're going to use SEP on R1, we're going to do enrollment URL. So we have to specify the URL of the certificate authority server that's running or capable of accepting SEP. And here our window 2008 IP is 172.16.32.40 on port 80. And the specific URL for the SF service, the Microsoft server, is this. Okay, so we need to make sure you have that typed out correctly. Then we're going to do FQDN, which is qualified domain name, r1.labminutes.com. Subject name CN, which is common name equal R1. And let me just copy that. And you can put as many attributes as you want. So here we're going to do OU equal IT, O, which is organization, will be lab minutes, state CA, and country is US and these are the all the attributes that's gonna appear on the certificate. Next we're gonna do revocation check being none. Let's see what we have configured so far and make sure it looks correct with the trust point. Let me bring up notepad real quick. Okay. Next we're going to tell router1 to obtain the CA server certificate that it will trust. So the command is crypto PKI authenticate. And here it's asked you to verify the MD5 and SHA1 digest and make sure it looks legitimate. We're just going to assume that it does, and then we're going to ask uh, one to 
make a certificate request. So it will be PKI enroll with the trust point name. Here's the just give a password of your choice. We do not want serial number, neither the IP, and then yes, we want to request certificate. Give it a few seconds, and you can see the lock message says certificate received from the CA. Next, if you do do show crypto PKI cert. And here we have the certificate that belongs to R1 install. Successfully, successfully requested from the CA as well as the CA certificate itself that's self-signed by the CA server. Okay, so that completes the R1. Let's hop on to firewall, ASA firewall 1 and see how we can configure the same thing. The syntax will be very similar. And again, we're gonna utilize SF for firewall one. First thing you do is show crypto key, my public key RSA, and looks like we already have a key generated. Just wanna show you if you decide to erase the key, the command for that is crypto key zero lies and RSA and unless you want to remove a specific key with the label you can use the label or the default but if you want to erase all the keys that store on the firewall you can just enter right here and they will ask you to confirm I would say yes we want to remove all the key and if you want to if you're trying to do show crypto key again you can see that's all gone so we're going to go ahead and create a crypto key the new one so RSA general key with modulus of 1024 which is key length next we're going to do a crypto CA to load a slight, slightly different syntax here. It's CA instead of PKI. Trust point, we're going to call it the same trust point. So let me copy that. If you do question mark, the option is you can see compared to R1 might be fewer, but it's very similar. Gonna, we know that it's going to need enrollment URL for SF and FQDN as well as the subject name. Let me hop back to R1 real quick and point out those attributes that you specify for the subject name you can see they are all incorporated in the certificate right here. Okay, now for the revocation check, we'll just go to no check. Okay, same process. We're going to fetch the CA root certificate. It looks like uh, it's obviously case sensitive. Ask you to accept the fingerprint and yes. Now the certificate, CA certificate, it's installed. Now we're gonna request a certificate for the firewall itself. Enroll LM root CA. Okay, oh, looks like we did too much of the copy and paste. Let's do this. Looks like we forgot to change the name. 
Actually, that might be easier just to delete that. And start over. So that should be firewall 1. And that should also be firewall 1. And I believe that's CRL, no check. Okay, so try that again. Okay, and then crypto CA authentication, LM root CA, accept. Instead of authenticate, you're going to enroll to obtain the certificate. Give it the password. No serial number. And yes, we want to request. And now the certificate has been granted by the CA. They do show crypto CA cert. The firewall one now has obtained the certificate as well as the self signed root CA. So the process between R1 and uh, the router and the firewall is very similar with a slight syntax. Uh, difference as you can see and as far as the SF process is concerned they are almost identical okay now we're gonna switch to R2 that we're gonna do a manual uh, enrollment on assuming R2 didn't, didn't, does not have access to the or network access to the CA server Okay, the first thing we have to do, we have to obtain the root CA certificate manually. So I'm going to bring up my web browser, the way to do that, with the Windows certificate server, is to go to the URL 40 slash cert SRV, ask you to authenticate. Just going to use demonstrator account. Okay, you can see the different options here. The, the last option is to download a CA certificate, so we're going to do that. And we want to do base 64. And go ahead and download certificate. Save. Okay, if we open that, you see the content right here with the LM root CA and the path but what we need is the the text form of the certificate so we're gonna instead open that in notepad and this is what we have okay so we ha let's have that ready now on R2 since it's gonna be very similar to R1 let me see if I can copy R1 config. Let's make sure we modify an appropriate value this time. Instead of enrollment, we're going to do terminal or enrollment URL. We're going to do enrollment terminal. QDN is going to be R2. CN is R2. And this, and again, as always, checks to see if this key exists. If it doesn't, then you generate one. Keep to key generate or say Okay, and then let's copy that and paste. Now we're gonna run through the same command, which is crypto then um, PKI authenticate now then root CA and one immediate difference that you can see right here as opposed to doing the enrollment URL it's it's asking you to manually enter the base 64 encoded CA certificate which is what we have ready right here so we're going to copy paste it also say at the top here is at the end just type quit to end the entering and again prompts you to accept the fingerprint just like when you do it 
with the SF. Okay, next you're going to do crypto PKI enroll with LM root CA. No serial, no IP. Do you want to display certificate request? Yes. So instead of the router going out and automatically obtain the certificate for you, since we do not use SF here, but we're doing it manually, by doing the crypto PKI enroll command, it actually display you with the certificate signing request that you need to use and submit that to the certificate authority. So here's the text or the CSR. Now we're going to go back to the CA server and there's a link for a request a certificate. We want to do advanced certificate request. And here you can submit your base 64 encoded CSR. And you just copy and paste that. And it allows you to pick the certificate templates that you want to use. So we're going to go ahead and do IPsec offline request, submit, and immediately the certificate is available for you to download. So we're going to click and save on that. Um, we're going to open it just to show you what it looks like, the certificate that belongs to R2. You can see it's issued to r2labinates.com, issued by the LM root CA. And for the different attributes you can see, the subject name that you or that we type in right here, I'll show up in certificate. So now, in order to install the signed certificate, back into the router. We're going to open the certificate in Notepad. And before we do that, let's do a quick show crypto PKI cert. Okay, so you already have a CAA self-signed cert. Now, in order to install the, uh, the sign certificate, we, we're going to have to import it. And the command, if you could guess, is PKI certificate. Um, let's see. Uh, import certificate. LM root CA uh, certificate. There you go. And again, it's asking you for a base 64 encoded certificate. And we can just copy and paste. Quit at the end. And the certificate is successfully imported. So you show cry, uh, cry PKI cert. In addition to the self signed certificate we saw earlier, now we have the router certificate for R2. Okay, so here you have two different ways of enrolling your devices for a certificate, depending on whether or not your device has the direct reachability to the CA. So now we have successfully installed the certificate on all of our router and firewall. We are ready for the future labs that might need certificate authentication. Okay, thank you for watching labinits.com. I'll see you guys in the next video.